Hi to all. In this video, we will learn about e-invoice TDL, e-invoice helper. So basically, most of the business already coming in the e-invoice criteria, and it is very important. We should take care of our e-invoices vouchers so that it will not create any difficulties or mismatches in the future. Mostly, uh, the current challenges is coming that users are changing the invoices value, users are deleting the invoice vouchers, cancelling the invoice vouchers. So it is creating difficulties by filing GSTR one. Your books and GSTR one reports are not matching. To solve this issue, we have developed this TDL. So simply, first of all, we have to enable the TDL from the company options, enable lock invoice vouchers, and after this. You have to enable it in the voucher type you want. Like in cell voucher, I want enable lock invoice voucher. I just enable it and then credit note. So this is a basically admin panel. So if I go to the users login and suppose I want to change a particular invoice, so I can go to the IRN generated from system and if I want to change it. If I press enter, it will be, uh, give a message like "Dear ACC, no alteration can be done. IRN has been generated." First thing, you cannot change. Second thing, if you press Alt D, you can't delete because it is already restricted. Second thing, third, cancellation, you cannot cancel. Fourth, you cannot make it optional also. So if you make it optional, you, you try to save it, it cannot save. So this is first level of restriction we had given for this. And the mismatches of invoices is not only due to voucher; it is also due to masters. So suppose if somebody go to the Kiran Enterprises ledger and he want to change some information, alter master Kiran Enterprises. See, he cannot change this to regular to unregistered. If he change it to regular to unregistered, the information of the invoice is mismatched. So it is. It is considered as e-invoice voucher change, so that's why we have given a restrictions on party ledger, sales ledger. Like if I go to the ledgers, alter master, sales commission. This is my sales ledger, and if you mind to, if you, I want to change the group of ledger, I cannot do that. So we have restricted to only those field which are impacting your e-invoice voucher. He cannot do applicable, not applicable. Yes, but they can change it. Inventory values are affected. Maintain balance bill by bill. These things only those part are restricted, which are related to invoice. So transaction cannot change. Masters cannot change. Same thing in the stock item also. If I go to the stock item and I want to change the detail like opening balance, you can change it. But you cannot change the GST related information, like from applicable to not applicable. If you want to change some tax percentage from past dated, you cannot do that. Like from first April, I want to change this rate. I can do that because already we have generated invoice. So if I change it and if I accept it, it create a, a mis mismatches in your invoice voucher. That's why it is restricted. So generally, if this kind of restriction is given for the users it is very rarely that uh, their mismatches of invoice will happen in your voucher this is the first feature that is restriction of e irn created transactions suppose there are some transaction for which irn is not generated suppose this one this so pos this is not related to irn so i can alter it simply so this option is given now along with this we have given some more options like oh, a utility is given if you go to the statutory reports gst reports we had given option of invoice helper here you can update the pan of ledger from their gst number generally when we create a ledger we enter the gst number only but we skip the pan number generally operator do that so this also help you to copy the pan from their gst number you can simply select your party automatically all the pan number get copy from gst number so this is one of the tool which help you to update your records update your database with the valid pan which help you in tds and all third feature we had given a, a report which is not available right now in default tally we had given an e invoice register simply in this e invoice register you can see 
uh, what is the invoice detail, acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date, IRN in the single row along with all the details. It will also give you the variation of date like uh, on which date invoice is generated, on which date IRN is generated. So it is very important to track this also. So 8 days after we have generated this invoice, so it may create a difficulties in future. So this kind of things you can easily extract from our this report. You can filter it party wise, voucher type wise, this kind of information we had given. So another one thing it is required that sometimes admin cannot do everything. Okay, because they having some restricted time. So uh, he, he, he has to assign a user to the, this kind of like he want to assign a user who can do the alteration who can do the deletion. So for that you can simply log into the admin panel and we had given option of to the users like user and password and then let's go to this user. I want to give a permission to alter invoice voucher. If I make it yes then this user can alter the invoice voucher irrespective of IRN generated not generated same thing voucher cancellation also he can do irrespective of IRN generated not generated same thing backdated entry suppose we had already generated IRN on today and I want I am user uh, going to create a backdated voucher because backdated voucher creation is also a problem so if I enable this user can create backdated voucher so these are the restrictions that you cannot change any invoice voucher if you want to allow for a user make it yes you cannot cancel your e invoice voucher if you want to allow cancellation for a user make it yes if you want to allow a backdated voucher for a particular make it yes yes you cannot delete the e invoice transactions so deletion is totally restricted to admin and the user both so hope this product will help the all e invoice users to protect their data from the e-invoice mismatches and they can simply manage the GST e-invoice entirely itself. No need to maintain a separate Excel for understanding when e-invoice generated, when invoice is generated. You can easily copy the pan from the GST number. So hope you like this video and for this product you can simply call to your tally partner and you can buy this TDLs and simply start using it. it's very easy and it will not take more than 10 minutes less than 10 minutes to implement it thank you thank you so much for valuable time for watching this video